name is Eileen Perez, I'm an astrophysicist, and this is Changes in Galaxy Mass Due to a Supermassive Black Hole. So we think that at the center of uh, galaxies we have this massive uh, black hole. So here we have a supermassive black hole. Now, these black holes are not your standard a couple of times, uh, you know, heavier than the sun. I mean, we're talking about something that is millions of solar masses. Uh, so this type of mass has a great influence on the actual galaxy. And it, um, it's theorized that this actually is what drives the evolution of galaxies. Is it has a lot of correlation in what shape does the galaxy turn out to be. And it has a lot of effect on the actual galaxy. Now, how do we see this as a change the mass of the galaxy? So we see a lot of energy loss. So when we look at these galaxies and we calculate the, the mass, and this is dark matter aside. So here we're not talking about dark matter. We see that some of the baryonic matter has also gone missing. So how can we account for this type of mass loss? So it turns out that in black holes, um, if you're accreting mass, let's say you have the singularity of the black hole and you're sucking in mass, you're going to start ex expelling these giant jets. Now recently we did a study in a galaxy called 4C1250 and the reason this galaxy was interesting is because it started the, the supermassive black hole at the center was at the stage where it began to actually eject these jets. So what we saw is that at the end of the jets, we saw these large clouds of gas that are being ejected from the galaxy. So like in one end, we have about 16,000 solar masses, so 16,000 times the mass of the sun, these giant clouds that are being ejected. And then the other side, we saw actually 140,000 solar masses. So there's a couple of uh, theories of how can we actually lose mass from the galaxy, and one of them has to do with this violent wind from uh, star formation, but the other one has to be with this pushback of the jets of the supermassive black hole actually having some mass ejections. And this is the way that the supermassive black hole in the center of the galaxies can actually change the galaxy mass. My name is Aileen Perez, and I'm an astrophysicist, and this is the changes of galaxy mass due to a supermassive black hole.